First of all, this system is corrupt. All they the corrupt. all the way. First of all, they trying to say that Eligio can't make no more phone calls, no more video calls, no more messages. Took all his books, took all his pictures, ramshackle his room. They got the is the prosecutor. She's telling the she has access to the, the the jail. She's access to all of the 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 in the uh, what are the called the correctional officers in the jail, mm -hmm. and she's able to run the jail. She's able to tell them what to do, give them orders, and they do it. She just put in a gag motion to be able to take down all of the videos. They're trying to take down the videos, trying to hide the truth. Yeah. And that's why y'all have to share the truth. They're trying to hide it. They're trying to take it down. They're trying to corruptly do things behind the scenes without us having to say a word or him having to speak and defend for himself. Right. But they shut him. They try to shut him up. But no, they can't shut him up because he can speak through us. Pyramid. And we are gonna speak and we are gonna tell the truth Pyramid. because this is this is this is wrong. This is this is corrupt. This case is corrupt. Yes. The 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 evidence is already out there. It's already it. out there. Y'all see it. Y'all see it for what it is. So why is y'all trying to tell us to take it down? No. Only because y'all in the wrong. Y'all ass is getting caught. Y'all ass is getting getting caught. It doing exposed. Yes, you be ex they, right. they are really yeah. definitely being exposed right now. He's been in there for a year, a whole year. When you took a look, when we take a look at the discovery, there's nothing in it, literally Zero. nothing. And so after the bond hearing that we currently had on June 2nd, when they denied his bond, they denied the speedy trial. We have tried to be nice. We have tried to be quiet and follow the rules, hoping that they will play by the rules. But no, they did not. So now you have a prosecutor who is pursuing this case maliciously because of a personal vendetta. All yes. of these people have a personal vendetta against him, and he is not safe right now. Mm -hmm. They just currently put out a gag order, okay? And what that means is that he's not allowed to speak the truth he's not allowed to tell you guys about what happened and this is going on with every black person in america that is behind bars who doesn't have anybody to speak from for them he's not able to defend himself for his case he's been having everything everything taken away from him and how is it that a prosecutor can put in a motion for a gag order and not even have it signed off by a judge yet. And they already, but already have his phone calls restricted, his messages restricted, came in and took all of his stuff. That is not right and it is violating his constitutional rights. These people are not being treated right in these prisons. Aliyah is not being treated right in these prisons. He is being violated. How can you tell somebody to not speak the truth? Tabitha Pasmino, the alleged victim, the, the detectives, detectives the, all of them we have had their own. Have been defaming his character. The tea, AKA the T. Mm -hmm. Yes. They have been defaming his character for a long time now. And they and able to speak up and, and say whatever they wanted to say and defame his character. But we can't say nothing and defend our family and that's, ourselves. That's the point. That's right. the that fairness. is the point. That's yes. not right. That's, that's not, not right. right. That is corrupt. Yeah, because not only... let let First of all, they... Not only did they take his pictures off his... We send him pictures every week. Five photos every week. They took all his pictures off his wall that we sent him since he's been in there. The only thing that's been keeping him sane. They took all his books. Not only that, and he can't talk to us. They saying he can't go live. He can't message us. Not only that, but they trying to get our malicious prosecution video taken down. Mm -hmm. In the in the motion, they put 
our YouTube with the video. They put our Instagram with the malicious persecution. They have put it all the lives that we've done addressing the situation. They put that in the motion to get that taken down. So the reason why they're doing this is because we put the truth out. We put the truth out that they're being corrupt, that they're not being fair, that they have a personal vendetta against him, which is obvious in the video. We sat there and watched that video. The people, y'all seen. Y'all see the corruption in that video, and now they're trying to take it down. But that's not fair. Not Once fair. we start talking about the truth and what's really going on, then they want to take proper precautions and say they don't want the case to be displayed in the public. And putting this case in the public that since he's been in there. She yes. just put the case out Again. about an hour ago. And the alleged and victim. Updates. The alleged victim has did a live talking about outstanding when he was denied bond. Saying, oh yeah, he's done, can't get a bond. Talking about the case. Right. Many times she has talked about the case. Did an interview saying that she admitted that, oh yeah, we're doing the best that we can to keep him locked up. It's a. It's not just me. It's a whole group of people behind this trying to keep him locked up. She going on here talking about the case, but when we just stick to the facts, we ain't targeting nobody. We not. We not. We don't have no malice toward nobody, but we just putting the facts out there. Yes. Yeah. We but now they want to yeah. take the video down. They trying to get the video taken down. That's why it's very important for everybody to go get that video and share it with everybody you know to post it on your page. So the right person can see it mm -hmm. to save it in your files because they're putting out motions for us to literally take it down. Yeah, yeah. it's not quiet. right. Yeah, it's, it's not, not right. right because Tabitha has painted before the whole world. They have said whatever the hell they wanted about him and about his character to the world, to everybody who has been watching. They have been saying the most lies and they have been saying the worst about him during all of these bond hearings. Lying in the bond here talking about he said he would kill her. What? Yeah, we have, we have reasons to believe that his life is in danger at this point because of the fact that they're trying to silence him from expressing and defending himself and his character for his own rights to live. And his own rights to be free out of the Cal County Jail. He never spoke about the Cal County Jail. He just spoke about his case. He spoke about him being innocent. Mm -hmm. He spoke about the facts of the case. And inside the whole malicious prosecution video is only the 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 the, deep, the prosecutor's discovery. That is the evidence that they gathered. That actually helps us because they don't have no type of evidence, no type of facts that prove that he raped a. Um, a like a, a victim he raped this woman or he um he did false imprisonment no none of this stuff is true because they were not able to come up with no type of facts backing up that case backing up those allegations and now that we come out with facts they're trying to hide their innocent, hand they're trying to hide their hand with the gag order and the gag order is trying to silence him from writing from speaking and how can you from inside of jail fight your case if you cannot communicate with nobody you cannot have nobody fight for you you cannot have nobody speak and do bond motions and figure out this is what's being said. And they're trying to silence him and have him just trapped in these four walls with no help. How would you feel if your brother or your father or your uncle was in, in, in a cell with no help? He couldn't talk. He couldn't speak. He couldn't express. He couldn't I'm innocent. You. What would you do? You was going to let it slide? What would you do? Would you fight? For his rights, would you fight for his freedom or would you just let it slide? Would you just be quiet? Would you just cower like many people do when it comes to fighting back from this system? Everybody knows that this system is corrupt. Everybody knows that they try to lock all of the black men behind bars, especially the strong ones. Yeah. You've heard of all of these movements. They try to take out the leaders. You heard of the COINTEL PRO. That is, the per that is the CIA's operation to prevent the rise of a black messiah. Yep. And now this is very, very key. The black nation, yeah. The yes. black nation, the, back, the black family, they don't want us to rise. Why? And so it's very, very important that we stand here today in front of the whole world and continue to share the truth and speak the truth. Because an innocent man is behind bars and his life, he is, he, his life is in danger. He is facing life behind bars because of a lie, because of a fan.
hmm. who turned mm. her fan her fanaticism into a sh a really weird obsession. Yes. yes, yes, you are obsessed, and you've been exposed. Yes. And we are going to continue to expose this truth because you are not going to get away with this. No, because the real criminals need to be held accountable. Detective Gregory Moore. Detective Monica Pazmino. Panosian. Prosecutor Tabitha Pazmino. Stacy Hedges. The T. These five individuals have not been doing their right especially the four individuals that work in the court of law, have not been doing their due diligence as being just and right following the code. Because if you was following the code of the First Amendment right, you would have never have even have a gag order in the first place. That's a contradictory in the United States of America to have a gag order to silence somebody and their, their expression of their freedom of speech and then say, well, you can't say nothing no more. You have to be quiet. You can't, you can't speak about the case. It's too high profile. Why? Because it's going to change the narrative of what viewers are thinking. But then y'all change the narrative of viewers of oh, thinking when y'all put a news report, multiple news report on him that this cult leader was indicted. And, and he's in DeKalb County and put the whole address and whole house online and his life in danger. Put him in PC. Put him around inmates where they know who he is. Multiple times they put him in his life in danger. And now they're trying to not allow us to talk to him. Now they have officers inside the jail that are actually not being, they're, they're being corrupt. Yes. Like Queen said, they took all of his stuff down and said they had, he had a phone. They did not find he nothing. He did not have nothing. But they still did, took it. And still they have, he has no phone privileges, no messaging privileges. He can't, he can't read a book. He can't even look at a photo. This is what they do to the black man trying to break his spirit because he's strong and he has his mind made up and he knows who he is. Why do you want to break, break the black man's spirit? Why are you helping the white man break the black man's spirit? You hate yourself that much? You don't understand the truth that much? You want to live a lie that much? We will expose the truth continuously. What would they do to us when we speak and continue to speak? When the gag order is um, approved because you know, goes along with everything that Tabitha Pazmino has did this whole court case. She's always agreed with, she's always agreed with the prosecutor. She did not, ex she not accept a speedy trial. Demand. When he out of his mouth with the recording as facts, with the text messages as facts, yep. and with the public defender coming on stand holding her right hand saying, yes, that's a fact. I denied him. Mm. When there's a constitutional right in your amendments, rights that you have a right to a speedy trial. Mm -hmm. yeah, this whole case is, is very corrupt because is. how do you deny somebody a speedy trial, right? And then deny the speedy trial. On top of that, after you have been shown to have been trying to assert your right for a speedy trial. The reason why he's in there right now is because of the public defender's office. If they would have listened to his, him, his demands for the speedy trial, if they would have put the correct speedy trial in like he asked, this would not be. But yet, she denied him his basic human rights like they are doing denying him of many of their basic basic human rights and this is happening all across the lands all it's across right. the jails they're denying these people basic rights because they don't have people who are going to step out there and say something they don't have people who are going to shine light on the judicial system because who is it that you go to when the person in charge mm. is the person that receives the complaints mm. who do you go right. to when your judge is the vice chair of receiving all of the complaints, who do you go to when the prosecutors, they get all of the, the complaints? Where do we go? Who do the people go to? Because we have been trying to get a hold of somebody who can help us, but all we do is get a runaround. And I'm pretty sure a lot of black folks go through that from this very system that we have to uh, what do you say? Abide by? Mm. 
but it's very corrupt because the loopholes that are created are not meant for us to know but for them to fly and do whatever the hell they want to do. So that's why Tabitha can put out a gag order and without even getting confirmation from a judge, exactly, they can execute it yeah, early they, they without it. nobody saying, yes, this is approved. Right. And then you call the jail and you ask, why is, my, why is he not getting no... No calls, no visitation, no messages. Why are these things been taken away? And they they say because of executive decision. Okay, well who made that executive decision? I cannot tell you that. Mm. Okay, um, can I speak to somebody higher up and then be on hold for a whole hour and thirty minutes? It couldn't be Tabitha because I don't believe that she's an executive. I don't believe that she can make and sign off these motions. So is it possible that they're signing off on their own? And making it so and signing it saying it's an executive's decision and passing that along because they got away with so many things within the judicial system that is corrupt. They're actually going under a lawsuit. The defense, um, the, the Public Defenders Association is going under a lawsuit mm -hmm. past Monday. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stating that they are going on a lawsuit because a lot of Georgians are... Be, not being represented and being held in jail for over a year. Yeah, yeah. these people, these, these men have been, and, and women too, have all been a victim of the public defender system. Okay, that's why they they having that um that big lawsuit that's going on right now because these public defenders are leaving these people high and dry for years sitting behind jail without one court date. Hmm. There's There's people in there been sitting in there for two years. Because they have a public defender and cannot get a court date. They use COVID as an excuse, right? But there's COVID has been over for a year or two. And they still have backlogs of these men and women that have not been seen. So it's like, how is it that this judicial system is going to play fair how do you expect us to abide and play fair and by the rules when the very people who are here and elected to make the decisions are not playing by their own rules exactly they're not even upholding their own laws mm. Mm -mm. how you set in place laws and legislations mm -hmm. but you you go against those laws and legislations mm -hmm. your own corrupt system mm -hmm. going going against your own self and it's being exposed, and that's what they're trying to keep quiet. They're trying to keep quiet the fact that we're exposing it and that we have, we are people that can expose it and that has platforms that can speak out. Yes. We have many platforms we can speak out on, and they're trying to stop us and quiet us. Mm. You can't stop the truth. You can't quiet the truth. Pyramid. You can't sit up there and allow someone to be wrongfully done and not let their family do something about Come it. On. What, your, what if your family was going through this? What would you do? Hmm. Would you sit back and be quiet? Would you sit back and not say anything? Would you see all of this evidence and be like, oh, hell no, I got to say something. I got to do something. Come on. His life is in danger right now. We don't know what the hell they can do to him in that jail. Right. Mm -hmm. They have say so. They can, they can, they can get a, a, a pull real quick in the jail and have him something done to him. Yes. We need calls being made up to that jail every single day. If we don't hear from him, we need y'all to start calling. Facts. We need y'all to start pro going up to the jail, pro uh, protesting, yes. calling up there. Urgent. This is urgent. This is a, uh, this is our family's life in danger. This is something serious. These people was playing with our life, putting in gag motions, going against our our rights as human beings right. on this earth. Yeah. Have a right to speak? Our amendment right. Yes. Our our laws are being violated. And who is going to come and help us? We have to be the ones to speak out. Yes. But y'all trying to block us from speaking. This video, mm. this malicious prosecution video, in the case warrants, in the affidavit, everything is flipped and turned around to make it seem like Poppy is a bad guy. He is not. It is the, he, the very fact the detective, the prosecutor, the judge, everyone that's involved in this case, mm -hmm. they are corrupt and they are malicious. Yeah. It's malice. They, they have a vendetta against Mr. Bishop. Yeah. It's a personal animosity toward him that they don't like. Yeah. They don't like something about him, but that doesn't mean he, he 
he committed this crime though. Hell no. Come that on. doesn't mean he committed this crime because you have don't like something about him. Come on. And because we have a, a say we have the means to do it, we're going to. And we're not gonna be quiet. We're not gonna no. Y'all trying to stop us. And and before this video and before they can even get the motion in, I'm gonna need y'all to help us out. I'm gonna need y'all to start speaking up about this and not just sitting back and being quiet about it. Because that's not fair. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. It's not right. Right. Mm -hmm. Every every person every person before us that was a a, a righteous activist yeah. mm -hmm. speaking up about the system and, and, and the corruptness in the system was persecuted as well. And they pushed forth these laws. They pushed forth these 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 unrighteous laws. And they spoke up about it. And they yes. did something about it. They didn't just sit quiet and not say nothing. Yeah, they this fought. Is our, this is our family. Mm -hmm. This is his life. Yeah. This is not a game. This is not a game. It's, it's not, not a game. game. This is it's real. Really not. This it's is not. something to fight for. This is something to live for. If you have nothing to die for, you're not fit to live. Exactly. And much, most of the time, you're living your life with no purpose, no reason. And if you feel connected to this, you might have had your uncle locked up and this happened to him. He ended up dying in jail. You could have had your father in locked up. You never was able to see him as a little girl. And this is touching your heart. This is for you to speak about. This is for you to, you're supposed to take that passion and that pain from this system that is giving you that trauma and alchemize it into fighting for what's right. Because you are the cho you are chosen people of God. We got black people that are chosen people of God. We are being used as batteries in the system. We cannot no longer be used as batteries in this system. All through the jails is black people. All yeah. through the court system is black women, black men. Not knowing they playing the higher purpose of doing the devil's game and playing out his and her belief systems. When that's not the way we live. That's not the way we do things. We come from an indigenous way. We come from a natural way. We, we, we feel niggas out here. We live for what's right. We, we, run, we, we run it from mass every time... Eligio tried to leave and go to the tropics, leave and do what's right for his own life, open himself up. He said, y'all can come if y'all want to, but I'm not inviting you. And people came into his life. And then you take that same blessing and turn it into malice, hatred. For something that he's never done to you, but help you and give you knowledge on this camera every day for three hours every day. Asking you for nothing but for you to change your life. And this is how you do your Messiah and your prophet? That's not right. Mm -hmm. and, now, and this is just a reflection of the American system. He's just exposing it. He just has the platform to show you as black men and black women what this society and what we will do as a people to ourselves. We'll, be, we'll sit back and we'll laugh and make a mockery and talk shit and we won't do nothing oh about God. it. And then we go to work the next day and complain about the white men and the white women and how we ain't got nothing in this system and we ain't got nothing going for us. Mm. At the same time, you have a chance and opportunity to speak and be courageous in life. And you sit there and you don't do nothing. Then upon your heart, you will be judged. Oh, that's why they get away with this stuff. And that's why the system will continue to be yes corrupt. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing going to change. That's why they continue to get away with this stuff. They, they, they put, she put a motion in. Judge Heydrich has not signed off on this motion. The motion says to take away his phone calls, take away all this, take away all these things. They put the motion in. Nobody signed off on this motion. That's why we were so urgent to go live because before we want to let y'all know that they took away all of his privileges before it was even signed off. Mm -hmm. So they just doing what they want to do in that jail. So if you go to Google and put in the Cab County Jail hotline number, that's the number you call press zero and check on Alihio Bishop. Right now. And because you know a lot of trolls are probably calling right now. So if you're a supporter and you believe in the truth and you know that he is innocent, you call and pick up your phone or your other device while you're still watching this or get off and call and you say hello, yes. Um, you got an innocent man in there, and you start you start being on the the winning side. Yeah, because it might look like we yeah. losing right now, but in reality, we not. No, we are just being pressurized. Three is being pressurized. God is being in the cave, sat with Himself, so that when He comes out, He can heal you, and nothing yes. will ever touch Him. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We're just showing you how corrupt the system is. A year and three months. And no bond, no speedy trail, 
and we got all the evidence. Mm -hmm. It's sad how we do here, each other. I had mm -hmm. the. I pulled up the motion. Um, it, it's an emergency motion. Oh, tell them how to get to it too. Um, if you want to check out any of, you know, Elijo Chief's documents, type in Google DeKalb County Court Search. Court Search. You're gonna go to a website called uh, ody. DeKalb County ga.gov right there you're going to look for the judicial record search i suggest that you make a profile so that you can see more of the paperwork if not all you have to do is press the green button that says search and type his last name and his first name in when you do that you're going to be able to look at the case and all of the documents and the paperwork that is on the case Right now, I'm pulling up the emergency motion for a gag order and injunction. Yes. It says that on April 11th, the state shared certain discoveries mm -hmm. with the defendant. The discovery included materials such as body-worn camera and videos depicting law enforcement videos with the alleged victim. On June 2nd, the body-worn camera with law enforcement hmm. and recorded statements made by the alleged victim were uploaded and posted to the defendant's YouTube channels. Hmm. Nature Boy TV and his Instagram accounts, 3 thirteen. But when all these other people was defaming his character and making him yeah. look uh, all these kind of ways and spreading the lies on him, everything was fine. Was put in. Right. It was fine. Everything was okay. You're saying, oh, he's the bad guy. You're painting him out to be this fucked up person. Yeah, that's okay. But right. when we post the truth, everybody has get, something. Uh, yeah, we get a gag everybody want to stop it. But you guys have that's already... The problem defame you have already defamed his character all of the news articles all of the uh the channels the the t all of the other youtubers who have constantly constantly taken and i will say stole our content, content and posted it on your page without commentary chantel coleman made a okay? fool of him while he going through this you guys have made a mockery of his life mm -hmm. while we're going through hell trying to get over obstacles that you your obsessions have created for us. Hmm. Okay? Obsession. Just because you want to be like somebody. Hmm. It says here that it was uploaded to all of the social media accounts. In addition, the defendant has consistently spoken out on his social media platforms. Yes, what's True. wrong with that? Nothing. Freedom of speech. Hmm. First Amendment. In reference to his case and the victim's allegations. Hmm. But wait a minute. The victim has went live, alleged victim has went live on her social media platforms many times boasting and bragging about the details of this case hmm. right bragging about him getting no bond even right. the witnesses the so-called prosecution's witnesses have went live about this whole matter laughed in our face while Ooh. an innocent man was behind bars facing life in prison hmm. it says he gave a recent interview on june 5th Calling the victim a liar. He never called. He never said that. He never called you a liar. We can replay that video as evidence because they, she, she Miss Pasmino has a, has a habit of lying in the documents. <laughs> as the other three, um, other two beings of the detective, Gregory Moore and detective Monica Panosian. They all lie on their written documents. With no evidence stating the fact that he lied. Exactly. How is it that you have all affidavit, case notes, arrest warrants, search warrants, all saying different things? The arrest warrant.
having very, very uh, aggressive terminology, like saying stuff like, oh, he forcibly held her into a room when that was never, ever said or brought up. Mm -mm. So how do you falsify documents? How is that a part of the protocol? Mm -hmm. How do you get away? How do you get away with it? I'll tell you how. By having people who are ignorant of the law and ignorant of their rights. By having people who will not speak up and speak out about the injustices that are going on. That is how you get to do the things that you do. And let me tell you something. Because people have not been speaking up about it, these people and these detectives have been able to do it for a very long time. I'm pretty sure that this is not the first time that this has happened. But for you to not like somebody... Is not a reason for you to say that this guy needs to go to prison. And we're going to no. do everything that we can to keep him locked up. How? Against what? What What law is there that because I don't like somebody, mm. I think that they need to go to prison, but I have the power to do it, so I'm going to make it happen. Detective Moore. How is that a part of the judicial system? It's not. Shouldn't be. And why can't we expose that? Right. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It says that there is a protective order specifically uh, from publishing or causing to be published without in any information relating to the victim, the victim allegations against the defendant or any other witnesses in this case. Really? Well, then that should have been the first thing y'all did. When y'all first falsely arrested him, y'all should have put a gag order in there. When they were spreading it all over the news. Hmm. And every single online critic of Eligio Bishop online records the DeKalb County Superior Court bond hearings for Eligio Bishop. Every single time he had a court hearing or an appearance in court, they're recording it. And it's on their pages. Mm -hmm. Where's the gag after that? Now, I hmm. want to point something out. And this is very, very key, and I do want to put it on the record. Because right here, it says, for all of you who are watching, that this right here is an emergency motion for a gag order and injunction. We put in an emergency motion for a bond hearing. We never got no response. How is it that because the prosecution put in an emergency motion that her motion gets acted upon mm -hmm. instantly? As soon as she put this motion out, his phone calls were off. Mm -hmm. But when we put in an emergency motion for a bond hearing mm -hmm. and a speedy trial because his life was in danger, he was stabbed, he was threatened because some people seen him from the from the courts who read his case out loud in front of the whole jail mm -hmm. while the, the prosecutor defamed his character in front of the whole jail. So what? after that, we put in an emergency bond hearing when he was receiving the threats and he was stabbed. No response. For weeks. Hmm. But yet she puts in an emergency motion for bond hearing and instantly it gets a response without a motion. without even meeting the judge yet, without even the judge's signature. Well, this is very we corrupt. Call on the police? This is very, exactly. very corrupt. Yeah. Who do we call on the police? Who do, we, who do we have a right to speak to legally? And every time we try to call up there to check on him, they're getting an attitude with us. At this point, we don't even have contact with him. We don't even know what they're so going to do. Is, this is our way of connecting with him through these platforms. Speaking and, for him through yes. these platforms. That's our only way. Yes, he's a public figure. And Everybody hmm. knows that he streams his whole life online he's a public figure he always checks in to let you guys know how he's doing and the updates on his life 
There are people out here that care about him, that want to know. There are a lot of people that want to know and want to keep up with what's going on. Yeah. So now they're trying to shut down our they're ability. They're trying to hide their hand. Yeah. Hide their hand. Yes. Hide what they're doing and yeah. shut down our ability to let you guys know what's going on. Because yeah. we've been posting too. him live this whole time. We've been posting his voice recordings. He a phone call was shown on live. Everything was shown of him speaking and being online. But now that we sh exposing the detectives, we're exposing Chantel Coleman. We're exposing the prosecutor and the DA. Now all of a sudden, hmm. we're Chantel. actually being harassed we are. by our critics. Yep, we are. Yes, and and the people online. They call up there, they say he's doing live, and they call, they call the prosecutor's office, they call the judge office, they call whoever they need to call, and they continue to report us and harass us constantly. Yeah. But we don't have no say-so into protecting our own lives and speaking out the truth and make sure people know what's wrong with us and what's going on with our family. Rightfully so. We have, we have the right to do that. Why yeah. are you trying to stop that? Why are you trying to? That is not okay. That's not okay. That is wrong. That is. That is so. But you have all these people harassing us. But they are okay. They 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 could get scot free and Why? go home and, and do whatever they need to do. They're scot free. They able to go and it. But we can't. Our king is in jail behind something he didn't do, and these people are still harassing him. And we just mm -hmm. trying to defend ourselves on our own public platforms. Yep, that's all we're doing. They trying to block the truth. This is literally the truth. This is literally evidence proven his innocence. You clearly see his innocence in these videos and these in this rape file, the intention file, yep. all of these malicious prosecution files, the detectives' motives. Yep. It is in the, the it is there. And they're trying to block it because we have a big platform and we're able to reach hundreds and thousands of people but they're trying to stop it because they, we're getting the truth out there we're exposing their names we're exposing them for what they are mm -hmm. we're exposing their jobs and making it known to the public this is what the the police force does yes and they get away with this shit mm -hmm. and it's time to stop it because it ain't gonna keep going on Hell no, not with this black boy. No. No, not with, no, not with this black king. It's yeah. not going to happen. Because he has family that's going to speak up. Exactly. And not going to stop. Hell no. The T has been harassing us. Get her page taken down. I don't care if she keep continue to take her videos down. To take protect page. herself. Take her page down. Take She's it. harassing us. She don't have no rights to be posting that stuff. She has no right to. And it should be taken down. And we have a right to defend ourselves. And we won't stop. And I want to, I want everybody to Google what? something Here. right now. It's called Cointel Pro. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go a little deeper. This is, this is, this is when the Black Panther Party was trying to have a right to their own, their own rights mm -hmm. to be an American citizen. Mm-hmm. They was trying to get health care for the children, clothes. They was trying to look out for our black people. But mm -hmm. it says the goals of the CIA or the FBI is called a counterintelligence program. It's aimed at investigating and disrupting political groups within the United States. They consider this political. Mm -hmm. Poppy was taken to political prisons all throughout Central America, but was released because they did a proper investigation and saw that there was no danger. It says here that for maximum effectiveness, counterintelligence program and prevent wasted effort, to, these are their goals. Wow. To prevent the coalition of militant black nationalist groups. In unity, there is strength. Hmm. I'm going to read that again. This is what their goals are, is to break up black yeah, people Hoover. Hoover. who come together. Wake up. Come on. This will not be the, what? certainly not be the last group of black people who wake up and try to stand up and be elite and try That's to really? separate themselves from living in this corrupt system. Mm -hmm. There is strength in unity. 
Mm. A truism that is no less valid for all its triteness. An effective coalition of black nationalist group might might be the first step towards a real Mau Mau, which is a black revolutionary army oh. in America. Yeah. Oh, that's what they're scared of. Yeah. The next goal on their list is to prevent the rise of a black messiah who could... J. Edgar Hoover. Hoover. Mm -hmm. This was his plan to tear to to separate these national these activist groups mm -hmm. because they was forming together it was big it was it was in at least eight different states california i know i know it was one chicago it was all throughout the up north area where all these act this 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 black panther party was forming and because they they was forming so big and it was getting health care. They was getting all type of uh, things for the community. Mm -hmm. It was forming a big community. And it was trying to stop them because they was bringing too much power and too much force within their judicial system. Yeah. Because they didn't have a, they didn't have the right for medical care and food and clothes. They didn't have a right. They didn't have that type of stuff mm -hmm. back then back in the day. They took those rights away. So they had to figure out a means their own way. Okay, you're not giving me my proper rights as a human being. Mm -hmm. As my first amendment. And let me add to it. We are so Then I'm going to form other groups. Mm. Yes. We're so used to having these rights taken from us. We think it's normal. We think it's yeah. normal. And so... <laughs> they, they, they call it privileges. Don't let it be a black and a white one. They hmm. call it privileges now. Hmm. When, you, when it's your right. Right. Hmm. Exactly. It is your birthright. And that's where this came from. They put this fest in the air as if a revolution for them to say, I will not fall. I will not, and you're not, I will not stop break. Me. I will not no. break. No. You will not break my spirits. I have courage. I will continue to fight. Pyramid. I don't care if you arrest me. You know how many people got arrested? In Philadelphia, there is a move group. These people had natural hair. They had people outside speaking knowledge out in their own home every single day. They had children coming to their program. Another, it's like an associate of Black Panther Party. Yeah. And they got bombed. Their home got bombed and everyone was shot up and burned yep. alive in that home. Yep. Because they was bringing unity to the black people. And Eligio said, get out of this system. Mm. Mm. He told you get out. He was not trying to fight the system and fight inside the system. He knew. He knew they were trying to stop the rise of a black Messiah, but what his own people do? Tear them down. Do what they so. <laughs> Bring them back from the tropics into the, into in the United States of America every time. Yeah, you guys have a cult leader. Yeah, you guys have a black man over there. Yeah, you guys, a whole bunch of lies, a whole bunch of fears, a whole mm -hmm. bunch of your traumas projected onto an innocent black man that's just trying mm -hmm. to do right in his life. Mm -hmm. Your Messiah... You just doing a co and tell pro because the white man, A. Jack and Hoover, whoever the hell he is, hmm. just got you mentally, subconsciously programmed to go against your own self. Your own people. Stockholm Syndrome. Exactly. Hmm. And you talk about we got Stockholm Syndrome. No, nigga, we free. No, no we free. We free. And then. Mentally free. Yes. You still got chains on your brain. Hmm. There's a key part in this um, goal of the, the stop, the prevention of the rise of the black messiah. It says they want to prevent the rise of a black messiah who could unify. Now this, I'm mm. telling you that right unity. here, this is a key point mm. right here. Because I'm going to tell you something. Hmm. In the discovery, what they are using against him is the jail video call hmm. of him unifying black men together. Hmm. Yep. Bowing to our queen. Yes. It says here, I want they want to prevent the rise of a Messiah who could unify wow. and electrify wow. the militant black nationalist movement. Wow. So from his voice, he gives you life. He gives you the energy and the strength to push forward because of his mere strength. Look at all of the stuff that he's that he's going through. And he's still persevering. He's still strong. He's still fighting. And that spirit. That spirit is, is what is here to unify. Yes. He unifies a lot of people. And this right here is the prevention of the rise of a black messiah. It mm. says here mm, that um, Elijah Muhammad is less of a threat because of his age. Mm. Mm. Poppy is young. Okay? 
and he's handsome and he's good looking mm -hmm. and there's a threat to that it says a king could be a very real contender for this position should he abandon his supposed obedience to white liberal doctrines, mm -hmm. nonviolence, and embrace black nationalism? Mm -hmm. Somebody who has the real charisma. I do want to point out that word. Come on. That's what they've been using. Charisma. charisma. This guy got, this guy got nice. Look at the malicious yes, prosecution do. video. Yeah, this guy he I, he gets everybody with, with his, his charisma. charisma. Yes. With his, he's a good salesman. Go share the video. Go get the video. Share the video. Nature Boy TV. Because by by all by all means, this is going to be heard. Hmm. This is going to come out. Share the video, because these are key things that I'm pointing out here, mm. and no, it's no mistake. Mm -mm. Yes, you are here and you are watching it live. Okay, mm -hmm. it's no mistake. This is the truth, and that's why they are using these certain key words here. Okay, hmm. it Word says, that spells. There now it says that there is going to be a program to pinpoint potential troublemakers and neutralize them before they exercise their potential mm. for violence. Mm. They came in there, took all his books, took all you got phone in here. You so, talking to the news what companies. Is this plan? This is, okay. But it says potential. Hmm. So <laughs> these people are trying to prevent these leaders from get from gaining the respect mm. by discrediting them. Yeah. To the community. Yes, that's and that's why. why they want us to speak out. Mm. That's Cause why we're gonna change the narrative that's yes. of the minds of the people, and yes. not th th and not make y'all believe in lies mm -hmm. and what they want you to think. We want you to believe in the truth. They want yeah. you to believe in lies. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to hide us and cover the truth and not make us speak out and talk mm -hmm. about the matters that are going on yep. about this case and bring it to light. They want us to stop. See how yeah. long the lie has been going. They uh, the lie has been going for a year. Yes. Trust. Look, we have not been talking about this case for a year. In three months, we have not the lie has been going case. on for a year, and nobody and said now nothing. Now they're starting to speak out. And now it's a whole bunch of uproar. We can't talk about the news companies. Right. We can't send the video around. Why? We can't send the truth around. Why? Why that got y'all upset? Why y'all got a gag? Huh? Mm hmm. So that's the point, is to discredit Damn. them. And that's what they have been doing in these court hearings. All you've been seeing was him getting dragged by what they're, they're doing, their defamous character. It's been national news in the whole community. You've seen people who come in on the news, uh, neighbors, people who are in the community saying, oh, I didn't know that these people were in. They're trying to discredit him, hmm. discredit us, discredit what we're doing. When we stood for the truth, and we already told you in the beginning, when everybody was there, he did not do this. Mm, and we standing on that. Ain't nothing changing because they're trying to switch the narrative up. No. And, 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 no, no. No. He's innocent. No. No, we still stand firm in what we believe in. Mm -hmm. In the truth. Yep, no switching up. No. Finally... There is a goal to prevent the long-range growth, oh. especially mm. among the youth. Huh. Oh, I got youth. something to say. Okay. Now, there's a reason why they use this. There is a certain video that they use against him mm. to try to paint him to be some sort of, um, uh, you know predator predator to mm -hmm. the public to the community this has been spread the lie has been spread okay to prevent him yes, but yes. he is a very loving yes father yes. husband brother yes. okay and he would never hurt or harm anyone but Ooh. yet they are defaming him they are making sure that they are spreading this propaganda all over so that they could so that they could tell people not to not to follow him, not to listen to him. Oh, that man is crazy. Oh, don't do that. Something's gonna happen. But it's all a tactic. White America got control of their media. Yes. We got control of our media. 
Yes, we do. This is our media. And nobody can stop us from telling the truth. Pyramid. You paint your propaganda, we're, we're going to paint, paint ours. Pyramid. We're going to change the narrative on this side. Pyramid. The truth. Mm -hmm. the so everybody, share. 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 share, share. share. Please. If you care, share. Share. Please. Because, like, we... This don't this don't stop. It does. It does not stop. Mm. TikTok. Okay. Gosh. If we be quiet, if we be quiet, we don't say nothing. It's gonna happen again and again. It's gonna happen to somebody that's close to you, if not you yourself. Exactly. I, I seen in the comments today. The lady said, "Oh, this could be my son. Yeah. This could be my baby. Oh no, it's not gonna be my baby. No, it's not. And this is every black woman that has a son, that has a brother, that has a father, that has a, a husband, whoever." This could be happening to you. What would you do if you was in this space as a black woman to defend your your black your black man? What would you what you, what would you be doing? You should be wanting to do the same thing we're doing to defend your family as well. We have to cuz this is all exposed in this system and everything that we stand for. Like yeah. we are in their world this is how they treat us we can't allow them to treat us like this we can't allow them to treat our spiritual guru like this he poppy elio he actually decided to come out of that world and bring people together and bring unity and bring family and bring black supremacy back together because that's what is truth that is what reality is. That's what, when the black man rule the earth, the black man are the real police of this earth plane, of this entire earth plane. But we're in this white man jurisdiction. And what they doing to him right now is exposing what they doing to all of us. And it is also exposing our own self-hatred that we have within ourselves because it's like, the white man ain't got to do it to us no more. We doing it. They doing it already. They calling the jail like, oh, he's talking. He's telling the truth. And he's it's doing only it. black people doing it. It's only, only black people. It's only black people in a jail. It's literally. I, I was, oh my God. It all, the last hearing that we had, when I tell you it was only black officers. It's all black people. It was all black people. I was God. like, God damn. It's like it's our own people. It's like the the white man syndrome with a black face. Mm -hmm. And you're right. People say we got Stockholm syndrome. A lot of people out here really do got Stockholm syndrome. You still you getting really up do. and giving your energy to this system. Mm -hmm. You getting up and Mind going to so work. You got a veil in your eyes. You powering the system. Mm -hmm. But behind the scenes, everybody having fun. Everybody traveling and doing what they want to do. But behind the scenes, this was going this on. This was going on. To everybody. And it can happen to you in a split of a second. We was living our life. And in a moment this happened. This can happen to anybody. It's important that y'all really watch this malicious prosecution video. Seriously. Save it, save it to your hard drive. Save it to your Seriously. hard drive. Save it. Put it away. Put it in your files. Keep it. Keep yeah, it. He, this, this, yep. yeah. It's not happening. It's just Poppy. It's big. He's a... He... He come to bring something different to this mm -hmm. earth. Yes. He coming to yes. bring a I new world. Hope we bring in a new world. Hmm. We standing on something. Yeah. We not conforming to the system. We don't agree with it. We respect it, but we don't agree with that system. And that's really the reason. Hmm. All the videos he was putting out. The black man is God. Mm -hmm. Exposing, he was already exposing the judicial system mm -hmm. and how they was treating us. Mm -hmm. This is why he's incarcerated. That's the only reason why. Because he is a he powerful teach. black man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They don't like what he teaches. They don't like that he's speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. They don't like that he got these women right here standing beside him, mm -hmm. running his mouth for him mm -hmm. while he can't. Hmm. You don't see That's nothing like this. To, you don't see nothing like this. Nothing. Nope. We've been here. We always going to be here. And we're going to keep speaking the truth. That's why they trying to stop us from speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. They trying to take this video down. They mm -hmm. trying to get us from saying anything about the case. Mm -hmm. But that's not right. Right. Wrong is wrong and right is right. 
And if somebody's doing something wrong and everybody know it's wrong, it's not okay for us to just let it slide no. and put a blind eye to it and no. keep living our Hell life. No. Meanwhile, we have an innocent man in jail right. who's been in there for a year. Away. He's been in there for a year. <laughs> Eating nasty ass food. I'm not even gonna talk about oh the Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, but that's they treated him wrong. They He's treated him do. wrong. The people are treating him wrong. Some of these people in the comments treating him wrong. Wrong, Detective Moore. Wrong. wrong. Y'all know she never said rape. Mm. She never said none of that. Mm. Come on. Now. Why can't we expose that? Come we have been now. away from him from a, for a year. Come on now. We've been away from him for a year. Why cannot we expose that he don't belong in there and he not supposed to be in there? Why can't we say nothing about that? I don't. Come on now. Why can't we? Our family member is in jail right now for no fucking reason. We can't say nothing. Come we on can't now. expose the blatant fucked up shit that they doing to him right now. It's a clear ass video. Who seen clear. it? Who seen a malicious prosecution video? It is so clear. What's going on right yeah, now? You can't confuse that video up. You can't mix it up. You can't. It's all facts and no emotion. Yeah, it's yeah. all facts. Nope. And we exposing what's going on in this world. Yep, here. And that's why we decided to not be a part of this world. Exactly. And that's, and that's why we standing exposure. on what we standing on. Because hmm. we don't agree with that system and nothing that they do. Here so if we don't agree with the system, why don't we go to work? Why are we still going to work and giving our energy to this system? Why are we still helping the system kill each other, hurt each other, and throw motherfuckers in cages like a motherfucking animal? Hmm. Why are we still helping them kill the black messiah, Cointel Pro? Hmm. We giving them ammo to hurt and kill our own selves. The Chinese people, they loyal to each other. They will never do each other like that. The Mexican people, they loyal to their family. They they will never do their own people they like that. They don't do that. The white people, they will never do their own people like that. But black people? I throw you under the bus for some money for opportunity. Mm -hmm. The only time we come together is for something ignorant. What? The crate challenge. We come together for ignorance. See each other fall. And it's time to put it into it. And Alejo is... This whole situation is really just exposing the self-hatred. Mm -hmm. It's exposing all the corruption. Mm. And don't mm. think that this is the end. Mm. Because this mm -hmm. is just to expose everything to everybody. Because yep. mm -hmm. we already won. Yeah. No weapon form shall prosper. I don't Who give a damn. I don't give a damn what kind of motion they put out. I don't give a damn. We still got our platform, we still got our social media, and we still going to be speaking the truth exactly. and, and, and shedding light on everything that people need to understand. Yes. Yeah, because y'all got nature's boy in jail. Come on. Well, y'all think not, gotta... nature not going to prevail? Come on now. Think about that. He named himself nature boy. His name is Eligio, the chosen one, bishop. The bishops mm. chose Eligio. <sighs> what? He's been in jail and grew up in jail all his life. Then found knowledge within his own DNA and said, you know what? I need to leave this system yeah. wow. and proclaim the truth and help my people. Yeah. Even if they don't listen to me, I'm going to be on this camera from a mountain in Honduras screaming on top of my lungs and telling you the truth and what type of things. And, and it's, he broke down this whole system and now the system is trying to break him down. What? Not, that will not work. Yes, nature, will, work. nature will mm -hmm. come in as aid and support it's boy mm -hmm. because what you're doing right now to Elysio Bishop is what you do to the constant basis to your own earth and to your own body to your own mind to your mm -hmm. own self you rape you pillage you kill you steal you hate just like how the European did to us you neglect it you you throw it away turn away live your life and then go to sleep, eat some more food. That's making you go to sleep more and more and more. When you're not happy. He was literally keeping us alive, like with his sheer energy. Yeah. Waking up, download, feeding you, feeding your mind. Social media is not even anything that's without why, him. Yeah, that's why Beagle was popping. That's why IG was popping. Because every day he has something mm. going for your mind. So that you can stay awoke and be aware in the system. Who and we do things. I do want to say, 
I do think y'all who are the supporters, who are constant supporters, who never turn your back, who never uh, agree with the lies, who never went to the other side, even though they see it. Mm. Y'all see it. Mm. Didn't take okay. the opportunity. Y'all didn't take the opportunity. Y'all still continue to look out and make sure that we are supported. I thank you. Thankful. We thank you. Thankful. We do. We appreciate that. Because it does show. It does show that human humanity will prevail. It doesn't matter about the number, it the doesn't. size. It doesn't. It, doesn't. it just doesn't. matters about from the heart. Yes, you the heart support matters. You mm -hmm. still support it, and we thankful. Thank yeah, you. thankful. Appreciate so if anybody, y'all want to help us, you can start by calling the Cal County. Have that number on speed dial. Whenever you get Here a chance, go. call that number. Check on yeah. your black son, mm -hmm. your black father, your black uncle, your own people. Yeah. Call up there and check on him. Yeah, you can do a you wellness know, check. You can do a wellness call check. Call and do a, a lot of people don't know. Y'all don't know that if y'all have a loved one that's in jail, mm -hmm. you can call up there and check on them to see mm -hmm. how they're doing. Yes. This is information coming from us to you. Yes. Call up there and check on them and see how they're doing. Because yeah. they need to know that we protected him. And even though they're not allowing him his human right privileges to he use a phone, got army behind them. they need to know that he have people that love him and that are watching them and taking note of everything that they're doing. Yes. yes. Because they are trying to hide their corruption. They are trying to hide everything. Mm -hmm. And we have, need to make sure they need to know that we own them. Yep. Not Shine that light like everywhere so there's nowhere to hide. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thankful. Pyramid. I'm thankful. Pyramid. I'm Pyramid. thankful. So y'all go look at the gag, um, the gag motion yes. and see what they're trying to do. Um, is there anything else I'll you want to read? I'll post it for you. We're going to post it. If y'all got any questions, Hit up the inbox. I know a lot of people don't, but we're here. We're open to receive the communications. We're open to hear from you. What you? Th what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. Write us a message. Tell us what you think about what's going on. We'll respond back to you. How about we start there? And now, if anybody wants to call, let me do it. Let me see. I'm gonna come up here and see if anybody want to call in. So if y'all want to call in. I see if over have here. Y'all have questions. Oh, did, this one? This one? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm waiting to see if anybody wants to call in. If anybody has any questions. Magic Tarot. Do we know Magic Tarot? Okay. Please keep it respectful. If you guys know us, you know the rules. Please um, just let, let me know who's coming up. Uh, I don't know who this is with a face. You got your hands on your face. I don't know who this is. You got no picture. You don't have a picture, please, people. If you don't have a picture, if you don't have a picture, hood witch, add who? I don't see anybody who calling in. So y'all, when y'all when y'all call to Cal County, ask them why can't Alicio Bishop make phone calls. He hasn't done anything wrong. Somebody named Donica. Oh, she left. I don't know. Y'all keep on. Let me check Instagram. Be probably. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Instagram keeps dropping off. Let me see. All right. So y'all know where to find us. You know where to find us. You know where to come and get information. You know where to come give information. Y'all already know how to talk to us if you wanted to. Tomorrow we are going live with, um, we'll be on Sarnetta's platform tomorrow at 5, around 5. Our time has been kind of scattered as y'all can see, but we do plan on speaking with Sarnetta, speaking on that platform tomorrow. So um, follow Sarnetta on YouTube. Okay. And um, we're going to keep on just proclaiming the truth. I hope that y'all do anything y'all can to help. I hope that y'all watch the malicious prosecution video.
because I just want to let y'all know that it may be taken down whenever. It's probably going to disappear, maybe. So make sure y'all save it in your Google Drive, save it on your hard drive, download your flash it. drive. Yes. Just download it onto another device. Post yes. it on your YouTube page mm -hmm. because they're gonna, not going to allow us to keep it on ours. Yeah. And just so y'all know, if they try to convict him of anything, if they try to say he's Who's the fuck guilty, out of here? who the fuck out of here? If they try to say no. he's guilty of anything, y'all know the truth. Y'all know he innocent. Period. Yeah. And we have to t we have to be with the we have to be there for each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what they said about the Cointel Pro unity, and this is probably just a opportunity for us to unify with one another. Nobody leave. Mm -mm. No, no, no. It's okay. All right. I love myself. I, I hope everybody myself. support. Watch the video. Save it. Thankful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful.